play a song. Actually, play you can play a hymn or anything you know. You don't have to go crazy <laughs> to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh man, that's sweet. You sound good. <laughs> I like it. Like you're doing like a little ragtime like stride. Yeah, I kind of have a tendency to like always lean towards that. So I'm just trying to incorporate like I guess I don't know if modern stuff because like all of my stuff ends up sounding like that, which I mean I don't really have a problem with, but <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I know I mean it's cool. Like it's options. Yeah. Like you can... So if, say if you were playing it by yourself. I would do like some reharm stuff. I mean, you can you can probably do this in in the con in the real song as well, like with the congregation as well. But I would do probably something like this. Uh. <laughs> so. You can see that. Yes, that's that's like what I've been trying to trying to yeah, learn. Yeah, I'm about to change your life. <laughs> so, so, so. Uh. so Oh man, what did I do? So, all right. So here's what I did. So I had target notes of where I'm trying to go. Um, I'm trying. I'm basically I'm doing a two five one. You know, you know what that means, right? I want. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, instead of I'm doing like a two five one. Instead of the two being minor, I'm making it a dominant seven or secondary dominant, whatever you want to call it, right? That's basically what I did, but I just reharmed it a little bit. So I made it, I made it this chord, G7, flat five, right? Right. Um, if you look at the chord, it has like a C sharp major chord up, up top. Okay. So what I did was just take, I, I omitted the G, right? And I made it this. I just added this, the five. The five really isn't important, but I just added it for for color, and I took the B and brought it down. So <laughs> it's kind of a voicing thing that you want to start to learn. Okay. So and the melody is on top. So basically, I did. So uh, something like that. I forgot what I did. You know, you could do something like that. Uh, uh, I forgot what I did. <laughs> you know, it's, it's tons of ways you got. Good thing we recorded this, so I'm gonna look back. Oh yeah. Because because I just randomly did it. I forgot what happened. <laughs> I'll, I'll do some. Huh? I'll probably take those later ones too and use those as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 It's, it's kind of like how can you use two five ones, and then build. Oh melodies with it one of my downfalls i felt like when i was well i'm still learning but it's trying to make sense of everything oh how how does that work within the scale nope if it sounds good just learn it okay and then just start dropping it in you know it may suck <laughs> but you got to try it because um because it's hard because here's the issue i feel like you you to get to that point where it's like freely happening and you have options. You gotta, you gotta really master those, um, those, those, your chords in different ways and understand the relationship and how things move. Okay. All music can be broken down into one, four, five, every single song. 
because those are the most important chords in the song and you have to figure out how can you harmonize what or or substitute those chords to give it movement gravitate to what works for you and then create systems like if you want to learn say you just this part uh just worry about that. All the rest of the crap I said, don't forget, don't even listen to it. Cause okay. you're just gonna, you're gonna overwhelm yourself and then create goals. Like I want to learn it by Saturday, same time. You don't have to have a lesson with me next week, but mm -hmm. create those right. goals so you can measure how fast, how your progress going with the flow with stuff. You're not going to grow that right. way. That's the challenge. I'm going to be hitting you up in a couple of days. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Good Thank luck. Man. Yep.